Hello, and welcome to the Close to My Heart Twisted Sisters YouTube Hop. My name is Sandy Zimmer, and I'm a Close to My Heart maker from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Today, I will be twisting up this thin cut gate to make candles for a birthday card, somewhat inspired by a photo that I saw on Pinterest. So I begin with the Daisy Meadows card workshop, and I use this gate and I die cut it several times using white daisy cardstock and my die cut machine. As I run it through the die cut machine and remove it, I notice that the negative space kind of reminds me of a parasol or an umbrella. You can see that here. So I will use that on a card later on in my video as well. So I take the gate out and using my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers, I start to color the pieces. I start with the True Blue Blend marker for the candle base. And because our markers are Tri-Blend, they have a light, a medium, and a dark on each marker. So this allows me to create some dimension and interest as I color the candle pieces. Then I use the orange blend for the flame. And lastly, the yellow blend to complete all the candle flames. For the sentiment, I choose the birthday greeting stamp set from our core catalog. I place the happy birthday greeting on my block and ink it up gently, generously pardon me, with sapphire ink. I begin stamping about a third of the way down from the card top at a bit of a diagonal and I repeat the stamping process without re-inking. Each time the ink gets a little lighter but I'm able to get about five generations of stamping from a single inking. It creates a bit of an ombre look and I really like that look. Then I decide to use the ink pad to ink the edges of my mat. I could totally use a sponge dauber for this, but because this was handy, I just went ahead and did it this one time. To begin assembly, I use our Tombow liquid adhesive on the backs of the candles and place them on the card in a diagonal pattern, raising and lowering them to create height and depth as I go. You can use as many or as little pieces of the candles as you like. Once I have all of the pieces in place, I flip over the card and I use my blade up against the back of the card to snip off the excess. I decide that I want to add more candles and continue to fill the empty space with candles. With the final candle in place, once again, I trim off the extra pieces. That Tombow glue is great for gluing a head a little bit and then being able to just put them down. You'll see on this piece, I didn't quite get to the end. So then I just add a little bit more adhesive. And then here's where I flip it over, use my blade up against the card and trim off the excess. Folding one of our card bases in half, I get ready to glue my card to its base. But after placing it down, I decide I want to add a sapphire mat first. I like the layered look of this much better. And there we have the re the completed card. Returning to my original die cut piece, I pop out the negative space that reminds me of a lampshade or a parasol umbrella. I trim off the tops to create the shape I desire. 
Using a stamp from the April stamp of the month, I curve it on my block. I love that our stamps are easy to manipulate and to curve in this manner. Once again, I ink up the stamp really well and stamp it repeatedly with my sapphire ink. I decide I need a little bit more blue, so I use my Carolina ink and a dauber to ink it up and create more dimensional look. Since I had two parasols, I decided to use the March stamp of the month and stamp the butterfly, butterfly wing on it using the sapphire ink as well. Off camera, I stamp a few small flowers from the set to fill in the blank space and again ink it up with the Carolina ink. I love how versatile these stamp of the month stamps are and can be used in so many different ways. This butterfly is beautiful, by the way. So I use the little girl from the Zoe stamp set and I create a background with a cat and stamp the sentiment in sapphire ink. Then I layer the parasol on, on the cut, cut out card. I love how I'm able to create not just beautiful garden gate with the stamp set, but also candles and umbrellas. What will you create with this stamp set? So you will see here all of the pieces that were used to create these two cards. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you are interested in the supplies used, please visit my website, sandyzimmer.closetomyheart.ca. Next up is Trina Warhani. Please join Trina and the rest of my Twisted Sisters for more inspiration. Thank you for joining me.